Today, we've got some exciting news buzzing in the smartphone world that's sure to get you all fired up. Strap in because we're diving deep into the latest developments surrounding Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 chipset and its upcoming redesign. In a world where speed and performance reign supreme, smartphone giants like Qualcomm are constantly striving to push the boundaries. And it seems like they've got their sights set on Apple's record-breaking M-series chips. Rumor has it that Qualcomm is gearing up for a redesign of its Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 application processor set to hit the market this October. But why the sudden change of plans, you've asked? Well, it seems like Apple's upcoming M4 chip has raised the stakes with its jaw-dropping single-core benchmark scores. According to ex-subscriber at will 101 Qualcomm has decided to up the ant by boosting the clock speed of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 from 4 GHz to a blistering 4.26 GHz. This move is aimed at putting Qualcomm back in the game against Apple's high-end silicon. But here's the kicker. Qualcomm's redesign isn't just about speed. It's about taking on Apple head-on in the battle of the chips. You see, Qualcomm plans to manufacture the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 using TSMC's cutting-edge 3 nanometer process node, the same one Apple is using for its M4 chip and the A18 series. However, there's a twist in the tail. Unlike Apple's M-series chips, Qualcomm's Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 won't feature the scalable matrix extension, SME technology. This means it might face challenges in handling complex tasks efficiently, which would affect its overall performance. To compensate for this, Qualcomm is banking on the sheer speed of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, aiming to make it a powerhouse despite the lack of SME. And that's where the redesigned clock speed of 4.26 GHz comes into play. But wait, there's more. Qualcomm isn't just relying on speed alone. Instead of using ARM's Cortex CPU cores like Apple, Qualcomm is flexing its muscles with its custom Phoenix cores. This unique architecture could give Qualcomm an edge in performance, albeit with some trade-offs. Now you might be wondering, what does all this mean for the next generation of smartphones? Well, buckle up because things are about to get interesting. With the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 at its heart, smartphones are poised to reach new heights of performance. But with great power comes great responsibility, or in this case, great battery consumption. Qualcomm's chipset, with its beefed up specs, could potentially drain your battery faster than you can say, Snapdragon. So phone manufacturers will need to step up their game when it comes to heat dissipation, possibly resorting to larger vapor chambers to keep things cool. So when can we expect to see all of this in action? Well, mark your calendars because October is shaping up to be an exciting month. That's when Qualcomm is expected to unveil the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 during its annual summit. And rumor has it, the chip will be powering none other than the Samsung Galaxy S25 series, including a highly anticipated Galaxy S25 Ultra. And there you have it, folks. The stage is set for an epic showdown between Qualcomm and Apple in the world of smartphone chipsets. With speed, performance, and innovation at the forefront, the future of mobile technology has never looked brighter. Stay tuned for more updates, and until next time, keep exploring the possibilities. In just a few months' time, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will succeed the iPhone 15 Pro Max and take on the mantle as the best and most advanced iPhone out there. Although there's plenty of time until September and a lot can change, we seem to know a lot about the upcoming top iPhone model based on rumors and leaks. How is the iPhone 16 Pro Max shaping up against its predecessor? What's changing and what's staying the same? Let's see how the iPhone 16 Pro Max shapes up against the current best iPhone Apple has in its roster. First up, let's talk about design and size. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will inherit the same design language as the iPhone 15 Pro Max, employing the same titanium frame with a completely flat screen. The major difference between the iPhone 16 Pro Max and the iPhone 15 Pro Max will be size. The upcoming iPhone screen will grow to 6.9 inches across, a significant bump over the iPhone 15 Pro Max's 6.7 inch display. To achieve this, they're likely shrinking the bezels down even further and making the phone itself slightly larger overall. As per the rumors, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will measure 163 millimeter in height and 77.58 millimeter in width versus 159.9 millimeter and 76.7 millimeter for the iPhone 15 Pro Max, respectively. A small but notable change, all things considered. The iPhone 15 Pro Max debuted with an action button instead of a mute switch and a USB Type-C port at the bottom, so those two features will be carrying over to the newer model as well. However, the iPhone 16 series will be scoring another button, dubbed the capture button. 
Colors wise, the iPhone 15 Pro Max was available in four understated and titanium inspired colors. We've heard that Apple might use another titanium processing technique that will make the iPhone 16 Pro Max glossier and also more capable of retaining colors. Moving on to display differences. As mentioned, the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come along with a significantly larger display, measuring at 6.9 inches across. Aside from the size, we don't clearly expect any other major changes. We're certainly getting a liquid Retina XDR display with an OLED panel delivering superb colors, contrast, and exceptional maximum brightness. The screen will support 120Hz promotion refresh rate, making scrolling through the interface and on-screen content way smoother. Now let's delve into performance and software. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will feature a second-generation 3 nanometer chip, possibly dubbed Apple A18 Pro. As one can imagine, we expect that the Apple A18 Pro will have better performance than the Apple A17 Pro. Due to the heavily rumored focus on AI for both iOS and the iPhone 16 range, we expect that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will come with a much improved neural engine to take care of all the generative AI features. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will also be a first to debut iOS 18 with a focus on artificial intelligence features. The new iPhone 16 Pro Max will also support faster Wi-Fi 7 and a more power efficient 5G modem, keeping you future-proofed on the connectivity front. Let's talk about the camera. As the iPhone 15 Pro Max deliver a host of important camera features, chief among which is the new 120mm telephoto lens, the iPhone 16 Pro Max could finally address one of the forgotten cameras that hasn't recently scored any significant overhauls, the ultra-wide. Analyst Ming-Chi Ko believes that Apple will be introducing a 48-megapixel ultra-wide camera on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. When it comes to audio quality, iPhone Pro Max devices are always up there with the best, setting the benchmarks for all other manufacturers to measure up against. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will be no exception. The same generally applies to haptics too. iPhones are arguably the best devices when it comes to haptic feedback, giving us precise and accurate vibrations that are sufficiently strong yet not overpowering. Lastly, battery life and charging. The iPhone 16 Pro Max will reportedly feature a much larger 4,676 mAh battery compared to the 4,422 mAh battery in the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Charging-wise, we haven't heard anything about a potential charging speed increase, but we hope to see one on the iPhone 16 Pro Max. So far, the iPhone 16 Pro Max is shaping up to be a logical improvement to the iPhone 15 Pro Max delivering key upgrades in important areas like screen size, performance, AI, and battery life. Thus far, we haven't heard anything particular about a potential price increase, so it's safe to assume that the iPhone 16 Pro Max will start at $1,199 for the 256GB version. Of course, if there's an iPhone 15 Pro Max in your pocket, then you'll probably have few reasons to upgrade to the iPhone 16 Pro Max. Stay tuned for more updates on the iPhone 16 Pro Max as we get closer to its release date. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for the latest tech news and reviews. Thanks for watching. Until next time.